started. So let me get over to my thing here. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Apparently, I wasn't at the beginning. Woo! <laughs> There. Oh, I'm memorizing it all. Can you go by quicker? <laughs> I have a really great memory. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. All right. So thanks, you guys, for joining me tonight. And thanks for being flexible and shifting last week. I wasn't even thinking about, I hadn't said I hadn't sent the um, invite. So, um, so now moving forward after today, just so you kind of guys understand it, I mean, we're not necessarily, I guess I'll probably still call it like one, two, three, four, but basically what's going to happen now is like week one, will start again next week. So if we have any okay. consultants join this week, any new consultants, we will feed them right into the next week that is coming up. So no matter what week we're on, we put them in it and they go through the four week course. Okay. So that's kind of what this is going to be, is we're just going to keep going. And if we have new consultants, I think I will, you know, unless I have something like come up, I'll probably do them live. But otherwise, um, you know, if somebody just wants to do it, I'll just say, you know, it's week one, you can go back and watch the recording. You know what I mean? Because I have, I'll be recording, obviously, all of these. But the idea of these strategies are, that it doesn't necessarily have to be in specific order. You can come in at any time and it's just going to be the core information, like the meat and potatoes of the business. So this is um, number four. And this one is going to be about closing out your show. And um, hold on here, I want to read it because I can't remember exactly what it so wrapping up your show, making the best of it, and recruiting after the show, okay? So um, so that's like Connie just has a girl that's going to be joining. Right. You know, that'll be something next Monday. I would love for her to join, you know, join okay. in then. Um, I have somebody, too, that I'm chatting with. Actually, I have two people that I'm chatting with. So, I mean, we might have some new people. So that's going to be the idea moving forward with some of you guys that are in team leader positions and you're looking to recruit to add to your team to possibly promote to director. You know, this is the kind of stuff that we want to make sure that you're aware of and this is what we're doing. So every, every week, we're just going to keep funneling them through these strategies. So they're really, you know, set up for complete success right from the get-go and all learning all these little bits of info. Okay, so I'm going to collapse you guys so I can see my screen here. So what we're going to talk about tonight, um, so we're going to start off by, you know, where are you now? So since we're on week four, where are you now? Um, and where do you want to be tomorrow? So um, none of you, I don't think, are still in your 90 days that are on the call tonight. But this is something that, you know, you'll want to keep in front of your recruits. Um, is your fast track rewards flyer. Um, you know, whether you're just getting started or if you're even just setting a new goal for yourself, you want to kind of just always keep in mind of what um, your goal is. Be mindful of what is all available to you too. So, you know, who can tell me what the um, sales promo is for this month for a consultant? Oh, it's the, the um, spices. spices. Right. So the new spices. So, I mean, that should be always like, that should be always in your mind. I'm going to hit $1,000 in sales because I want to get my sales. sales. To me, if, some, if the company is going to give us something for free, I am going to do my best to earn it. <laughs> so um, that's, you know, just always keep, you know, in, in your back of your mind, what is available to me, excuse me, this month? Um, and obviously, if you're in fast track, or one of your new consultants are in fast track, you know, what's your 30 day date, because we want you to hit level one and get your ceramic egg cooker and your mini skinny scraper. What is your 90 day date? So we know that we can get you level two, level three, you know, and level four. Um, we want to make sure that people are getting those fry pans. And oh, I see this one still has the cast iron skillets, but the nonstick. Um, stainless skillet, 
and the knife black set. Um, let's see here. All right. So we're just, there's such an impact when you start recruiting. It is the number one thing that people will, it, what is the number one thing that people will say when we ask them what they would do differently if they started now? Can you guys guess what the number one thing people say is? Um, no. Nope, not that. Okay. Does anybody know what people would say? What, what they would do differently if they started all over again? Jenny, you might be a good person to answer this one. What would you have done differently? Sorry, um, what would I would do differently? I think, I know I've done some things differently from the first time I was a consultant to now. However, for me, the biggest thing is consistency. And there's a couple of months that I can see I just got lazy, so to speak. So for me, consistency is key because, and Kelly always tells us, what we do today affects our business th 90 days from today, which is the absolute truth because I'm feeling it now. Mm -hmm. So those kinds of things. And I would probably, even though recruiting is still kind of the farthest thing from my mind, it's something that I know I need to get better at. So I guess that's what I would probably start to work on differently. That That's the number one thing that people say that they would do is they wouldn't have waited so long to recruit. And I'm, I'm one of those people. I didn't really recruit. I, I recruited maybe five people in my first 10 years of business, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. But um, most of my recruiting has been in the last five, six years. And it's just amazing the difference that it makes in your paycheck when you have overrides. And um, that's the biggest thing that people say is because that's where you're going to see the biggest growth in your paycheck is those overrides. And you can start earning overrides um, as soon as one consultant is on your team. And I, you know, I've come in consistently telling you guys how important it is to at least I feel you know make sure that your first goal is to get yourself to team leader because team leader is also especially if trips is an important part of why you decided to become a consultant because team leader if you're getting paid as a team leader if you're getting paid at your title you're going to get that those paid as points towards your trip incentive so I think that's such a huge goal to get to team leader um the other big thing that um, I know Sarah Cooter would tell you too is that um, she she has told the story before where she has said that she finally realized it one day that she was really doing people a disservice by not offering them the opportunity. So you could be holding back somebody from something that could be you know the best thing that ever happened to them. So don't ever don't throw it out there just because you're like, oh, well, you know, she already has a part-time job. So don't make decisions for people. You have no idea what, it, what their need is at that time. So you just need to, like I always say, make it a conversation, bring it up. Um, you know, and we're going to talk a little bit again too about, you know, we, that five times thing, like with your host, because 90%, I'd say probably, or 99% of your consultants are, have probably been a host with you before. So Recruiting is the number one thing. And, um, you know, the thing is, too, is that I think people get the most, the, the biggest thing that they get scared about with recruiting is that they're not going to be able to help them enough. And that's the thing is, is that's not your job, necessarily. You don't have to worry about that right away. Until you get into a director role, then we want you to start taking a little bit more responsibility. But we still have a time period that you go through in that transition of learning how to be a director. It's, it, there's a lot to it. So, um, so you don't, you're not alone. You're never alone. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're gonna help you guys all along the way. So don't be scared of recruiting. That's the number one thing that people say they wish they would have started doing sooner. Okay. All right. And then um, building a team, of course, to promote to director, it just takes five people. Um, management levels are for everyone in this company. There's nobody telling you that you can't do this. It's not like you have to wait for a position to be open like you do at a normal, 
um, corporate job. You know, you can give yourself a promotion at any time when you decide that that's a goal of yours. So, um, you know, let me know if you have more questions about that. Um, and I know I always like when I look at this picture, I always like you guys to make sure that you're, you know, you're really aware that it doesn't have to be five personal people. You know, you could have people on your team that have recruited and um, like Brandy's in that position right now. She's got Kim under her and then Kim has recruited, I'm sorry, she's got Misty under her and then Misty recruited Kim and then Kim recruited Quentin and Teresa. So, I mean, she's got, you know, she's got, she just needs one more person and we need her team to be active, you know, like for her to promote to director. So she doesn't have to have all five people herself is what I've said. So don't always let that um, hold you back either. Make sure, and that's why we're really, you know, being intentional and making sure that we're telling you guys to get recruiting right out the gate, okay? Okay, and then the memberships of director, there's so many perks. Which one of these on here appeals to you the most? And anybody, whenever, whoever wants to go, Ken. Is there something sticking out here to anybody? Come on, don't be shy. I would say probably 3% override on your sales and on yeah. your personal team sales. Yep, that is, that is such a huge incentive is you get that override. And then it, you know, it goes up to like, I get 4% override for being an advanced director. So yeah, that's, it makes a huge difference in your paycheck. And I'm getting to the point now in my career and with the way that my structure is, is that my overrides now are to the point where they're more than my personal commission is how my overrides land. Yeah. So that's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. Cause they say that's when you get to that point and it is doesn't seem like it would ever be that way, but it is. It's, it's incredible. Okay. So lots of great things here. And I noticed, um, I don't know if any of you guys are friends with any of the national executive directors, but they're all in Arizona this week for direct or on um, executive seminar. So they're having a blast in Arizona. That's all I can say. <laughs> I've been the seeing weather's perfect. The weather's perfect. Yes. That's what they said. They're having a great time. I think they're in Scottsdale, I believe. So yeah, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> yep. So, yep, so they're having fun. All right, so, oh, I don't know if this was supposed to be here. Hold on a second. It might have, I'm, this might have been one I needed to move. Oh, no, it is. So, this is, no, this is supposed to be in a different spot. Sorry, I must have moved the slide on accident. Okay, we're going to go to this one. Um, so, you are giving yourself a raise on every level you achieve. So just like what we were talking about, the more you submit, the higher your commission rate goes to. And you also, once you hit that $15,000 in career sales, then that gives you another 2% increase on your sales. Does anybody remember what another thing that's going to give you another 2% increase on your sales? In the 15000 that's that's the fifteen thousand, but then there's another thing. Oh. It happened to Sarah and I again in the last couple of months, if anybody remembers. Oh, is that your uh shoot the seven thousand a month elite seller? Six thousand a month, yep, elite 6, seller. So once you hit elite seller status, which you're submitting six thousand dollars a month in sales. And then you're rolling 12 months is 75,000. Then you get another 2% increase. So most months I'm making 29% commission on my sales. So it's it really, like I said, it really, really adds up. So don't leave money on the table. If the company is going to give you more money because you sell more, you know, start, you know, start like Lori, like Lori gets stressed out because she's got like what, four shows? this week or something like that, Lori, or three shows? Four all at the same time, yeah. Four at the same time, and she's like, ah! <laughs> And I'm like, well, I've done nine before, and she's like, you, what? <laughs> so, um, and like, I got four yeah. starting on October 1st, too. I don't know. I'm a glutton or something. Right, but, you're, but <laughs> the thing is, is that 
once you do it and you get over the fear of it, then you're like, oh, I can do this, you know? And then when they start talking about doing four shows a week, no matter what, virtual shows a week, that's kind of like when we would say cooking shows, we do two shows a week, no matter what, you know, that's, then you're like, I'm doing it, you know, and you just, it just becomes your new normal. I remember thinking back to, I will never in a million years be able to sell $500 a month. I remember that. And now I'm doing $6,000 in a month, you know what I mean? And pretty consistently. So never in a million years, you just, you learn how to do it and you learn how to manage it. But that's where I'm saying, don't leave money on the table. You are in control. There is absolutely nothing holding you back. You are in control of your paycheck. Okay. That's, that's where it comes to. You are in control. Nobody's going to take something away from you. Nobody is going to, it's, you know, it's all on what you're, you know, doing. So if you want to give yourself a raise, you can do that at any time. Okay. So again, don't leave money on the table. So there was, oh, this slide doesn't come out very good. Oh, this is just basically, so there's the $750 level is going to get you um, your 20% commission. Then it goes to the 2,500. I'm sorry, 1250, that gives you 3% raise. Then $2,500 level gives you a 4% raise and the $4,000 level gives you a 5% raise, excuse me. So that commission rate just keeps going up. And then once you hit 15,000, that's why keeping your career sales every other month with at least $150 in sales and not dropping back down to zero. That's why that's so important because you want it, once you get that 15,000 and get that extra 2% increase, you don't want to have to start all over again. We had a girl on our team that that's exactly what happened to her and she quit and never looked back. She was so upset that she lost her, her, um, her, her career sales. I mean, she it just devastated her. And she just felt completely defeated about it. So I don't, you know, I don't want you guys to get into those situations. Just make sure you're trying to, like Jen said, being consistent. Make sure you've got a consistent show schedule and just keep doing those follow, you know, reach outs to people, how many contacts a day you're making um, until you get your schedule comfortable. All right. So what would you do with an extra $2,500 a month? So this particular girl, this was a girl that was a brand new consultant that started in April and April is when COVID hit for us and it was just a crazy insane month. So if you can look down at her, um, her chart, oops, sorry, her chart down here. She had a couple of really amazing shows. And then she had like a couple of shows that were just like, like you know, like company average. So you just never know what's going to happen. But she ended up having over $4,000 in sales. And she just did one, two, three, four, five, six. Was it seven or is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven shows and 25, you know, 25. 31 was her paycheck. So I think that's pretty awesome. So it can really add up when you start doing multiples. And that's where too, like Lori and I talked a little bit, the idea of her having four shows in one week is very taunting to her. So she might, I don't know if what you've decided, Laura, but she might do it as a block party. So then she's only doing one hosting, you know, in parties, but she's still obviously having to follow up with host coaching and she's having to um, do, um, all of the things for, um, you know, commenting and stuff in her parties, but it's all in just one group that she's commenting in. So it doesn't, you're not flipping screens and going through all that. Um, so I don't, did you decide Laura, if you're going to try that or not? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> she's like, don't talk to me about it right now. I don't want to I don't want to think it's about just, it. I'm afraid I'm not going to remember who goes with what host, and I think that might be harder for me. I don't know. So this this week, I'm going to do them all individual, and then if it goes well, I'll keep it, and if not, the October one, I might. Gotcha. Yeah, I know, and I did some black parties um, last summer, 
or I'm sorry, last fall, and they went fine. Um, but then kind of when I shifted in January and started using the new host coaching that from Sharon Zellen that I use, then I just felt like I needed to do it individually. And that's just kind of how I've stayed then. So I haven't, I haven't gone back to block parties. Not that they were horrible. They were fine. Um, but I don't know. I just, we'll see. So is anybody else doing block parties that's on here? Anybody? No. I thought about it this week, but I didn't do it. And I probably should have because I clicked wrong on since share. So I had to redo a whole day's worth of posts because I forgot to click on the second person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good thing it was a really good high school friend of mine. So she's like, so. um, I'm not seeing anything like you should be. Well, lots of digging later. <laughs> yeah. I realized the problem. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. So I just speaking of post coaching, I just was like, did I send my host coaching this morning? My oh. Lord, that's what happens when I'm subbing sometimes. Thanks okay. for the reminder. What's that? Thanks for the reminder. All right. Yep. So, um, which leader do you aspire to be? So we kind of showed this, um, last call to where there, there's this, this chart of leaders that had um, an end count. And what an end count means is how many consultants are on your team month to month. So you have an end count every month. And so the like leader number one's end count, excuse me, it was seven in May of 2019, but in May in 2020, they had 14. So look at the difference in their organizational sales, 6,200 to 23,600. Um, they didn't have any directors on their team. Their earnings in the month of May of 2019 were $450 for that month. And then month of May of 2020 was 2075. That's pretty crazy. So you can see on that chart. So um, it's pretty awesome. And that's another thing that you can see what happens when you're recruiting. So again, I'm going to remind you about the ask every host five times. And that'll be posted, or that's already posted in the um, Success Strategies group. So, you know, we're, we're going to talk about that a little bit more. So wrapping up your show for success, personal connections and your host and your guest. So that was kind of a recap of things we've gone through, guys. And now we're going to move forward with um, kind of wrapping up our show. So, um, so tips to opening up communication lines with your guests and messenger. So beware of when you are messaging or where you're messaging, excuse me. If you're not friends with them, messaging them may not, they may not see a message. So we wanna remind you that there's a spot in Facebook Messenger called message requests. And I have not myself, I don't know if this looks different in the new Facebook because I don't know if Facebook Messenger is different. Is Facebook Messenger different, you guys, with the new Facebook? Or is that a look? Hang on. Yeah. Because I'm still on the old Facebook, but my Messenger changed a couple weeks ago. And now my messages, like on my phone, my pictures up here, up there. And a red dot will appear there if I have a message like on my business page or in like my others folder. Oh, you have a different messenger than I do. I think I still have the old one. Okay. I'm waiting for messenger to load the full version instead of just the drop down menu, but my yeah. computer is being stupidly slow. Yeah, and I'm, I've been having horrible problems with messenger on my computer. Um, it just looks like it won't load. So I usually have been having to go to messenger on my phone. It comes up for me quicker. It's just been really weird. So I don't know if it's like something to do with all the transitions Facebook is doing. I have not even been offered the new Facebook yet. Mine switched and I couldn't ever go back. It drives yeah. me nuts because I like the so old one. I, I, yeah, I went back and use guys lots of questions once it happens to me. Well, I went back three times and now it won't let me go back. And yeah. I've had to call Cindy a few times. Well, I did post I a video find... today. I don't know if you guys saw that. I saw your post, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. I haven't it, watched but... it either, but that was Paula Brockner passed that. Well, she 
lets me go on her. She has me on her page. So she, I get lots of great info from her. So, um, and that particular girl that did the training, she's really good at that kind of stuff. So I'm sure it'll be a great, great info. So I wanted to make sure we put it on the page. So then we have it to refer to later if we need it. Cause I don't know, Connie, are you on the new Facebook? You are. See, maybe I should just switch. They're, they're like like, maybe I should just switch. You know what I mean? On my computer. But like Lori had to help me out. And I made a mess up when I just created a, a, a group. Okay. Property, and I didn't press private. I did public. Oh, yes, yes, I think I saw you post something. Yeah. Like and it took three full days for them. I was able to go back to the old switch it request it Lori did show me where to find the information in the new but it's just harder to find stuff it's not yeah. in the same everything's place. hidden well yeah, it'll be it'll be in a couple hard. of months it'll be normal you know what but, I mean right. yeah. it, well, well the other thing what I've been struggling with is I'll post something but I can't see it and what Cindy told me is you need to refresh the page and then okay. you'll see it okay so, yeah. Just okay. that's what you're finding, Jen. Yeah, that, but you know what? The one thing I do like about it is you can see every scheduled post. You can see, you could see up to 90 scheduled posts. Whereas in the old Facebook, you couldn't see them all. I know. Oh, okay. I guess I never I, really hated I never like, had that many. <laughs> I hope well, you know, I mean, it. before, <laughs> no, like when you do a Facebook scheduler. scheduler yeah, you oh, could only see Facebook you could only see like maybe up to maybe up to like three days of them. Now you could see up to a whole week of them. Okay, you okay. can see the whole week. Kathy Pierce, did you or Brandy? Did either of you go on the new Facebook yet? Um, I was on it, but then I switched back over to the regular one because I didn't like the new one. Okay, and they I guess I kept I on it right now. I figured just yeah. forget it. Okay. Well, eventually yeah. you won't be able to switch back. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I figured I'm going to stop switching. To switch on September 1st, so I don't know what the deal was. Why? That no, it's happen. it's sometime in September because that's what it says. Like when when it switches me over, it says September sometime in September. Mm -hmm. It's going to switch you anyway. Yeah. So I just figured, forget it. I'm going to stop switching back over. <laughs> well, and like I haven't even been offered it yet. So I can't. Just I'm, jump, Kelly. <laughs> just, yeah. I would just, say just, you know, just jump, jump in. I, I just thought about those. I can't. I haven't been offered it yet. Um, oh, if you haven't been offered, then no. Go, yeah. go, into, been offered go into settings. Go into settings it's and see there. if you can go in. It's not there? No. Wow. And see, no. I was never You're offered. special. I was it was there. Nope. Yeah, it used yeah, to see, be in the mine, drop down menu, but I don't see it just there. anymore. Mine was just there. I didn't I didn't get offered. I didn't get anything. It's it was just no, there. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. They changed the formatting. And I didn't I didn't it didn't dawn on me that it was the new Facebook. Uh, mine you know mine what? just asked on me. your phone, it doesn't look any different on your phone. No. no. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Interesting. But on your computer it does. Yeah. Your computer is completely different, yes. Okay. Oh. So if you're on your computer for Facebook Messenger, the message request is you have to click the cog, you know, like that settings cog wheel. And then there's a message request. But if yeah. I'm, my messenger hasn't changed, but my message requests are always, you have to like click on your picture, like, and then it's in there. Yeah. And mine will get like a red dot on it now. Like yes. if there's another message in one of those other folders, or if there's a message for my business page, where my business page, I used to have to have the pages app loaded to my phone to find my messages. And yeah, now I you think don't have they, to do that. They, you can toggle between your profiles. They so finally kind of combine cool. those. But the one, you know, so what I want you guys on this, on this particular slide that we're talking about, though, is I want you to make sure to watch for those. And then what I have a habit of doing with my hosts is if I, if I message somebody in the party that I'm not friends with, I will send my host a message and just say, hey, can you tell Susie that I sent her a message and would she check her messages? You know, just get yourself into the habit of that. Um, the other thing I've done before, too, is I've even texted the person, like if it's something, if they've already placed an order and I have their, their cell phone number, I've sent them a text and said, hey, you know, this is Kelly with Pampered Chef. I've sent you a message on Facebook, you know, or I've, or I've just even texted them then, depending on if they've gotten back to me. 
Um, but I kind of like to just get it going in Facebook because then if I have them as a booking, then they, then, you know, hopefully we'll become friends then and all that stuff. But just making sure sometimes I'm um, like your hosts don't even know that there, there's that other messages folder. Like my mom had no idea that that existed. So, you know, you, sometimes you have to be informative to your hosts as well. Um, let me see here. So the one big thing too, is then when you're messaging people in messenger like that is always, comment them back with a question so they can message you back and then you're keeping that conversation going so always always end with a question okay all right let me go to the next slide here okay so encourage ways to guests i can't talk now wow ways to encourage guests to message you through facebook so there's a lot of people that because they want to start building those relationships right away, they will put posts in their parties. Now, I actually have not done a whole lot of this. So this was something that was kind of like brought back to my attention. So I'm like, I might throw a, one or two of these in my parties now. So you can do something simple as, can you correctly name each of these bite-sized candy bars? Personal message me your best guess at these and for five bonus tickets into your party prize drawing. So you're actually having them message you so you can get a conversation started. It is good engagement in your parties and Facebook likes to see that for algorithm purposes. So, you know, you can say something too, like, you know, message me the answer to blah, blah, blah. And if you message me, I will send you a recipe. And you can just pick any recipe that you want off of our web, you know, off of your website. You know, make sure that you go to your personal website and link it. Do you guys know what I'm doing, to how, what I'm saying about that? So you would go to your personal website. You would click like either blog or recipes and then bring up the recipe and cut the address bar, copy and paste the address bar. Because then it'll have your personal website linked into it. So you're not just going to just, you know, Facebook or pamperchuff.com. So then it links it to your, to your own. Okay. So I thought that was awesome. I don't know if any of you guys are doing anything like that already. I have, I do remember this from fat, like from past, you know, trainings, like a couple years ago, but I actually kind of forgot about this. So this is kind of intriguing to me. Again, I might throw something like this in my parties. Does anybody do anything like this? I do this one. Um, this one. Okay. And, yeah. And does it, work, does it work pretty well for you or no? Not really. No, no I okay. still do it. I still do it. But um, I mean, this last party, I got two people, the one I'm doing now, I got two people to participate. But um, the last couple parties before this, I didn't get anybody participating. Okay. So I kind of like the door price slip. I'm adding my door price slip back into my parties again. I took it out mm -hmm. for a few months. And yesterday, I got two people to respond to it. So I'm like, well, that was two people that I didn't that didn't respond, you know, so I do. I, went, <laughs> oh, I sorry. do this on the first party day. You do it on the first party day. Yeah. I do like a clue game. Two, two times. What, Brandy? Oh, I'm sorry. I do some. I do clue and have them personal message me, and that seems to work good. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's, there's some of those in the party, party games, like, the virtual party games, or something like that. I think yeah. yeah, there's a group. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um but that one's a good one. So, okay. So, you know, be funny, you know, about things, you know, that's how it's going to be engaging is so, you know, do something about a candy bar, do something, you know, something that you're interested in, find something you can go, like I said, on those virtual party groups and find all sorts of people spend, there's people on there that spend way too much time making pictures, but if they're going to do it and not waste my time, <laughs> I'll take them from them. I know that's terrible of me, but it's the truth. It's like, are you doing income producing activity or non-income producing activity? So I'm doing income producing activity when I'm stealing your picture. <laughs> oh, you're funny. All right, funny. Okay. So thank your guests for their orders in the party. So that's a big thing. Do you guys do that? Yeah. I use my yeah. emoji a lot for this. I have some of the thank you pictures for marketing imagery that I use. Um, you can, you know, there's lots of different thank you, thank yous out there. Like I said, in some of those pages, 
So thank guests for their orders in the party. Tag the guests. Send them a message in Messenger confirming their shipping address. Even if you know that their shipping address is right, it just gives you a reason to talk to them and start a conversation. Let them know that if they're close to earning um, the free product, and that's going to be a little bit more crucial if you're, you know, once we switch over to October 1st, because we're only going to have mid till midnight to um, change their, their order. Um, let them know when their order will be sent in, when their card will be charged, and the deadline for making changes. Now, that obviously is going to change a little bit as well come October 1st. Their, car, their stuff is going to be sent as of midnight of the day that they place their order. Um, and they, you know, that's going to be the one big thing that you guys are going to need to share right in your info. If you do like a little intro video or if you put a how it works post under announcements, you're going to want to make sure that you're making them crystal clear to them that they have until midnight to edit their order. Once it goes past midnight, they will have to, if they can place another order, but they will incur another shipping charge you know you don't you guys should not having to be eat shipping charges they should be you know well made aware okay of how it works um sending a recipe from your website or a recipe for a product that they've purchased is always a great thing to you know is to send them as kind of like a little bonus so a sample thank you message in a party would look like this Hey, Susie, thank you so much for your order. I'm so glad you found some new Pampered Chef products for your kitchen. Which one are you most excited about? Please check your Facebook messages or message requests for a note from me about your order and a yummy recipe. Well, I'll tell you one thing is I'm not always doing stuff like that. So that this has been a great reminder for me that I can even kick it up a notch and make it a little bit more personal. I always just take someone and I'm like, hey, blah, 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 thank you so much for your order. And then I do like a bitmoji, thank right. you. Mm -hmm. But I've never done all of this. No, and so I think this is fantastic. Yeah, maybe a little bit more work, but this is something you could also have all ready to go, like in notes on your phone or a cut and paste from a Google Doc with a you know particular recipe that you send to everybody. You know what I mean? And, and have it be just a cut and paste situation and it can still be pretty simple for you. Okay. But it's just that extra little touch and effort that they're going to see from you and they're going to want you to be their consultant forever. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So send message to send the guest after posting the thank you. So now you've even got a little message you can send them because you told them that to look in their folder or in their messages. Thank you for your order you placed for Susie's party. Your card won't be charged until, well, that's, that'll change. Your card will be charged, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, we'll have to obviously update this. If you want to make any additions or changes before we send it in by midnight, please message me. So that's the other thing too, is try to, you know, try to do your best maybe, you know, moving forward. You know, making sure that, you know, if you're working, maybe making sure that as soon as you're done with work, that's a little alarm that pops up in your phone just to see who has placed an order today. So you know that you have until midnight to help them with those so you can get these messages in. You know, it's going to be probably a little bit something that we're going to have to pay a little bit more attention to um, is our emails and knowing orders or just checking our dashboards and looking at who placed orders so we can keep on top of this. Um, attached is a delicious recipe for you to try. Enjoy. What did you think of the party? Include the link for a recipe from your website. And then once you establish this connection, you can reach out to them for booking later in the party with a rock star guest booking message, which we'll talk about. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Yep. Yeah. Some of this wording is going to have to be a little bit different. Um, when I post this stuff to the files, um, I will do my best to, um, you know, make sure that I put in there, remember, uh, you know, about October 1st. So, because we're going to have to change a little bit of this wording. Okay, tracking your rock star guests. Guests that are frequently commenting. And honestly, even Ellington Voice that just promoted to national executive director, she says a person that comments twice in a party is a rock star guest. And I kind of agree with her on that because if you're getting them to pay attention to, you know, because I mean, I have parties where there's nobody that comments sometimes, 
You know what I mean? So if you can comment twice, I think that's huge. And make sure that you make them aware of that. Guests that are selling products to others. I love it when I see stuff like that. When people are like, oh, and I use this for this and blah, 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 blah. I love that. So greater than 50 guests, you will get an insight tab on Facebook. You can see which guests were commenting the most. Have you guys noticed that in your parties before? Let me check. I think I have one that's at 50. Yeah. Now you have your Aquarius. If you're, um, I was going to say, I know I had. Oh, I do have one. So I'm supposed to have an insights tab because I got one party with 67. Okay, so in, in, if you're on like your phone, there's like, you can click that little badge at the top and okay. it'll do like, I think it's like group, oh no, it's not group quality, but it's one of the, maybe it's just. Should be on the side. On my phone? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking. Yeah, so there. I don't see it on my computer. That was one of those things that I used when we did the blessings bash for the, um, fundraiser in April. Um, that was one of the things that I used a lot, oh. an easy way for me to find who was commenting. So there's some different things like that you can look at with those um, statistics. Did you have something to say, John? Well, I thought I found it because I found an activity log, but that's not really what it was. Oh, insights. Gotcha. So Did if you see you're, it? yeah, if you're on your computer, if you, if you have the new version, in your in your group the far left side it says manage group and if you yeah. scroll down at the bottom there's an insight and it says growth engagement admin and mon monitors membership so if you yeah. click engagement false i don't know what that is active members popular days oh top posts then it like tells you it'll which tell you ones all kinds, your, it'll tell you all kinds of stuff it's pretty yeah. neat it is yeah. pretty cool. And then that's where you can see who are your biggest commenters. And it'll just, it's just going to save you a step. You know what I mean? And there is um, in the files under um, host coaching and um, follow up, Lori was gracious enough several months ago to kind of update my, my host coaching document for follow up from like my live cooking shows and she used it to make it virtual and um thanks Lori yeah so there's you know she's got all of her stuff on there and do is there's there's is there a spot on there for Rockstar guest Lori uh no I just write that on the back I put the sheet over and write okay, it okay so she just writes it on the back but there is another oh uh, there's another tracking one that we put on the files I will can't remember what it's called but I will figure it I will find it again and I'll bloat it um, I feel like it was Bonnie Coates that gave it, gave us it. And there's a spot too for you to track Rockstar Guest. So. There's one that has Rockstar Guest on it. I can't remember which one it is. It I'm sorry. Might, I'll find it again. because It's, know a, it's it every before. four, add one more. Oh, that yeah, one. That. Yes, you're right. It is in there too. It, it is. It's on there. Yeah. So if you want to do, yeah, if you even just simply want to use that, you can. But if you want to have it, if you're using the two by two by two method in a tickler file and you want to be able to move like your whole party note um there is we'll either add it to Lori's, you know what i mean or well yeah or i'll find the other one that there is but um i um i think it's probably important for us to make sure that we're paying attention to that now um okay so then we're going to go on to rock star booking message so this is the one we were just talking about a few minutes ago so it says, I want to thank you for being what I like to call a rock star party guest. You were commenting and super engaged, with spur, which spurred others to participate as well. I have a quick question and feel free to say no, but I normally message my rock star party guests because they're the ones I would love to work with. I'm curious if you would consider hosting a virtual party of your own. I can help you get products that are on your wish list for free, half price, and for the month of blah, 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 you can get 60% off the blah, blah, blah. Virtual parties are so easy to host. I do almost all the work. I would love to spoil you and, and your host will get credit for your bookings. It is a win-win. It is win-win. What do you think? What do you guys think of that? I like it. I like it. I will post that. And I think that's, we're probably not getting as detailed 
in some of these, you know, when we comment back to people. And we need to, you know, we need to be a little bit more intentional, you know, when we're doing things. And so this is super intentional. It's telling them, but it's making them feel special also. So you're building relationships with your customer. You're making them feel like they know what they're doing. And, you know, sometimes your rock star people too turn out to be great consultants because they know how to work, you know, they know how to work the room. So, um, you know, you could be, you, you know, your, um, your party booking could be, end up being a, a recruit booking as well or a recruit lead as well okay so now we want to um start thanking our guests who here uses the um thank you message right from the party no but i'm thinking i should yeah so this is where you find it you're gonna go back to that um section of your party where it shows the tab for guests and cart and all that stuff and then when you click on guests you are able to check their name off and you can click to email them and then there is a message to thank them and you can personalize it and change it you know to whatever you want it to say um but it's you know sometimes this stuff is really handy and moving forward I know that Pampered Chef is going, you know, home office is going to be working on personalizing more of a, um, um, like they've got the host coaching letters and stuff in there now, and they've got these thank yous. And I know that they're going to be working a little bit more of making it into a bigger deal of a tax management system. Um, so, you know, I think if you can get yourself into the habit of using some of this stuff now, it might make it easier later when they continue to keep offering you know, more option, options for us to use. Um, and even if you choose to do it a different way because it's more comfortable for you, sometimes just clicking on these things and reading them over, seeing what home office is saying in these messages will give you maybe a little bit better of a wording on what to say if you're, if you're doing them, you know, in a different manner. So that is where you can click on a thank you note for, for the guests what is everybody doing is everybody like i always text my my thank yous because i, I i'm concerned that if i email them they're going to get mixed up with the um home office emails that they get and i'm concerned people like delete that stuff and don't read it so that's why i always send the thank yous by text what is and everybody I, else I, doing? Sh I shifted to texting when we got that flow chart you know like nine months ago or something like that when I introduced that flow chart I started using that system more so but it doesn't hurt to go in and look and see how they have the wording in these Lori but I agree with oh, you right but I'm just I wonder what's everybody's opinion what is everybody else doing I agree with you uh, like, I, I, don't, I feel too. like I feel like email is like from the stone ages which I know yeah. is not completely yeah. true I mean, it's not, but because when I text, I get a lot of people answer back and say, you know, thanks, or a thumbs up or something yep. I where I don't know that I would get that with an email. Are others, I, are some I don't, of you emailing or? I just I send a thank you card. You actually send a thank you card, Brandy? Well, yeah, I just buy like the ones at the dollar store. And then at the end of the party, I just uh, mail them a card, thank you card. To each guest? No, just to my host. Oh, we're talking oh, about yeah, I do that oh, after they're ordering. Oh, I see. Yeah, I just um, text them. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I was just yeah. curious to what other people No, I guess, I, I guess I'm the only one that emails. I email. Do you email? Do you, do you I get I responses just, back? Um, sometimes um, I do. Sometimes I get nothing, but sometimes I get responses back. Okay. Okay. I don't get responses, but I don't ask them a question either. Okay. And that might be something you might want to think about, Jen, then. It's maybe Yeah, no, I don't leave it I don't leave it open. Yeah. So Yeah. So I was okay. just curious because I've always yeah. done tracks. So I was just yeah. No, I'll be very I'll be very curious to see what this is though. Because I mean I I like this. Well and I do too. I just wish it gave you the option to text. Yeah. I know you can text from 
You can text from your phone. If you are in consultant's corner, you can text from your phone. And that's what I do. That's what but I do. I, yeah. I don't know if it will bring up the email though. Let, you know what I mean? And then no. where it does no, it, right? copy and paste. No, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so that's, like I said, once I kind of shifted to using that flow chart, you guys all know what I'm talking about with that, right? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So if it's in here, I'm going to stop sharing for just a second here and go over to, whoops, let me get up here. And then let Thank me share. You. Kelly, as you're going to find it, can you tell us where it is? It's in the team links under host oh. in the two by two okay. by two. Got ya. Uh, so if you go to, what am I trying to find here? Here. Flow chart. It just said I had a new team member, Connie, but I don't think that would be it's your called, Hold It's on. called full service checkout. So if you type in, Oh, I have seen that flow chart. I just lost my mind. Yeah, and I got about mine it. in like a little sleeve because. Oh, is it the one where you? Yeah, thank you, Lori. She's got it in like a little. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, so it's flow. If you type in flow under the search bar, Jen. Okay. Yeah. It'll pop up. Oh, this one. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. We all know it when we see it, all right? right? When I when I pull my head out of my ass, excuse me. <laughs> oh, okay. You're fine. It's one it's of those okay days. Because there's so much stuff always. I mean, there always is oh so much God. stuff. Oh, my God. And um, oh my God. here, hold on. I'm going to exit out of here. So the <laughs> other thing is what I was, what I was talking. Whoop. That's not what I want to do. Can you still see what I'm doing here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you go Sorry about to, that. <laughs> If you go back to the top, so when I say team links, you guys know where that is, correct? And a yeah. lot of the stuff on the team yeah. links now, have, I have to work on updating that because a lot of it has changed so much with the new website. So, um, team hold on, link. I got to get back. So right here, it's the very first thing that comes in announcements is team links, and you can click on here. And then I have... Oh, okay. Got it. So it's got all the info here, but a lot of the stuff, like the, like if you clicked on it, like the returns, it's not, doesn't look the same anymore because when the website changed and I just haven't had any time to update it. So I'm, that's one of those, that was probably should have been a COVID project, but it didn't happen. So, eh. um, but um, here other I'm pieces to, of life got in the way. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to, oh, there. All right, so I'm trying to get down to, so here, host coaching, customer tracking systems, including the two by two by two system. So if you click on that, so this is for cooking shows, then this is, um, virtual stuff. So it's kind of all, I've kind of got it blended together in here now. And then follow-up tracker. And then this is the follow-up tracker for um, the one that Lori made. So that one's on there. And then I have the flow chart listed here. And then if you go down to, it kind of explains the two simple two days which really you're not going to be doing two days right now because they're not getting like you could do two days, but like two weeks is not going to work because they're not getting their orders for six weeks, you know? So yeah, two days, two like weeks, months two months. <laughs> so what, what you should be seeing in those phone calls. Six days, okay? six weeks, six months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say you could do two days. And you could do like six weeks or once you see that the stuff is shipped, then do that. Then do like two months from there. You know what I mean? Oh. Like that's what I'm thinking, you, you know, more so now. But um, all that stuff is in this document, the host coaching follow-up and customer care links, okay? So that's where all that mumble jumble is that I was talking about earlier. Here I got to, okay. 
All right, so let me stop sharing this and go back in here. Okay. Can you see it again now? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Except I got to collapse you guys again here. Okay, so then let's get back to... Oh, okay, so share how much your host has saved. There's that... Um, spot on the host savings details so you can see how much they've saved but then when you send the host a thank you letter that is in the thank you letter too and the other part of that thank you letter is there's a spot on there too that tells you if you would have been a consultant this is how much you would have made so I think that's very telling I've actually had I got a recruit one time from that because when she saw how much I made she was like, what to the what? <laughs> so, right. She's like, you were at my house for like two hours. Seriously? And I'm like, right. So then that, so that can be kind of a telling thing too. Um, Kelly, is that in the cart by the thank yous? Yes. It's going to be the or not the cart, but like up it's, above. It's the host coaching, I believe it is. Okay. And it's okay. like the thank you after the show. So even if you want to send it another way, you text them, you send it, but you could, you know, you could make sure include something like that and tell them how much they've saved. That can I be used to send them by snail mail when they used to, when we had our old system. Oh, so did I. Yep. You'd print yeah. them out and I'd fold them up into an envelope and. Yep. Yep. I used to do the same thing, Jen. And I loved it. I mean, cause like I said, I got, I got people that were in, like they were, they looked at it. They thought it was cool. Okay, so then um, sharing the business opportunity is the best product that we offer. Again, we talked about how we have um, six spots at the table, so one for you and five for your team members. So again, making sure you're sharing that business opportunity with your host. Even if your show is done, don't not talk about it. If she has not said absolutely flat out no, you know, you still have, per you know, she, they're giving you permission still to talk about it with them. And we're going to kind of talk about that now with breaking it down to how many opportunities you could have in a month. So here's how the numbers break down. So if you're having four parties per week, per week, you are asking party number one hosts six times, party number two hosts six times, party number three and party number four six times. So you have now given 24 asks about the business opportunity. So you're probably going to get 12 back and forth within those 24 and probably going to end up with one signed consultant. So this is what we're talking about every four add one more. So this is going to be statistics wise how this plays out. So ask per party at minimum. One is going to be your host for five asks. Two Rockstar guests, three, four rockstar guests, five curious, a curious guest on some kind of a question and answer, you know, post you probably had in your party, even whether it's like the emoji one um, that they have now, like with the, you know, vacation money, you know, all that stuff that's out there now. And, you know, so you're probably going to have a couple of those are going to be curious, you know, the guests that you want to talk to that have responded to one of those questions so making sure though you're asking your host five times so you're going to ask your host before you set up the party hey host thank you so much for hosting with me before i set up your party i want you to know that one benefit of hosting is that i can easily turn this into your kickoff party meaning not only would you get the free host rewards but would you but would also earn cash from it it, I'll still run the party for you, but you'll get the benefit from it. Are you in the market for some extra income? Number two, as guests are joining the party. Wow, your friends are really excited. And it says Wednesday, Thursday. It just depends on how you run your parties. So don't, don't let that throw you off. Um, your friends are really excited about joining the party. They obviously love Camper Chef and love you. Are you sure you don't want to give this business a try? And then during the party. You're doing such a wonderful job at getting your guests excited, engaged. I would love to have someone who's a nat as natural as you on our team. You would make a great consultant. Then when the party hits $300 in sales, 
when your party hit three hundred dollars in sales and qualifies you for kick credit so now we can change that to once it hits 200 because we're automatically getting that 25 dollars kick credit that's what they're getting they're not getting free product value anymore they're getting a 25 dollars kick credit at that 200 dollars level did you know that you can save 25 dollars or fifty dollars on the starter kit here are your choices and then when closing the party, thank you for being such a great host. Before we close out your party, I just want to ask one more time, if you're sure, don't want to give this business a try for 30 days, I would love to give you the bookings from your party. And did you realize I made blah, blah, blah from this party? So again, like I was just saying with that thank you note, make them aware, you know, and you don't have to say, you know, and you, we would want you to insert now because of the FTC rules. We would want you to insert now. An average consultant would make about blah, blah, blah on their first party. You know what I mean? Or, on, you know, when they're starting out. We want to, want to make sure we're doing averages that way. So here is a message because one of the things besides our host is a rock star message. So I wanted to thank you. So this is a rock star recruiting message, excuse me. I wanted to thank you for being such an, a rock star party guest in Susie's party. You were commenting and super engaged which spurred others to participate. I think you would have, would be a great consultant. Have you ever considered doing something like Camper Shop for extra income? And the other thing that I've said before that I feel like works really good and it doesn't feel maybe as pressure related or like, like pushy, you know, because sometimes people feel like they're being pushy. I like to say I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you this. I like to put that phrase in there that I feel really works well because then it just doesn't feel it, you know, like you're, you're just doing your job, you know? So that's, I, I just like that wording. Okay. So sharing how much you're with your host, how much he or she would have made if they were the consultant. If you had been running this party as a consultant, you would have earned blah, 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 and all the bookings. Now, would you like to hear how to get started? I think that's cute. So you can even make up some cute little graphic for that. Um, I think that's, that's super cute. Um, all right. Gathering guest information through a Google survey slip or a Google form. Hold on. I'm losing my notes here. So... One of the things I learned that I thought was really good now going back to putting a drawing slip, because I know we kind of talked about this a few minutes ago, but putting a drawing slip in your party. Lori's putting hers in the beginning. I'm putting mine at the end, but I have pondered putting it in in the first couple days as well. So they're actually having two opportunities to fill it out. So I might consider doing that. But somebody also suggested that in your post with the virtual party is, is personal message me or direct message me that you filled out the slip and I will send you a recipe or some, you know, send you something like that. So I thought that was, you know, another encouraging way and then starting a conversation. So you have that opportunity to ask them something and have them answer you back. So that's another thing to think about with this virtual door, door price slip. So Lori's doing it. Anybody else doing a virtual slip? I do. Brandy, you do? Do you get yep. a pretty good percentage of them sending it back? Um, sometimes. I normally do mine at the end, but I think I'm going to start doing it twice. Okay. And the other thing, too, is, is I don't know if you guys know this, but in Google Forms, when you're on the responses page, there's three dots up in the upper right-hand corner. And if you click on those dots, it will give you the option to make a check for them to for it to email you the results so then you don't always have to be going into the door price slip and looking every day you can just get an email saying oh somebody responded to your your thing so it'll alert you did you guys know that yeah, i'm lost who's lost <laughs> me who's lost connie okay in in google when you have a a, a form um, okay. Here, let me show you. Hold on. Oops, shoot. I gotta stop share that. Ugh. How am I getting out of this? There we go. So 
So if I go into my Google Drive and I go on to my door price slip, if I can find, ooh, how's my battery running, running plugged in? Hold on. Is Maybe it attached to a undone. light switch? It must have came undone. Or it must have came unplugged. Okay. So if I look at my door price slip and I click on, you know, I've created this. So if I click on response, oh, okay. on four, if I go here, okay, I can click the, I already have it checked, get email notifications for new responses. Well, that's not checked right away. You have to go in and physically do that. So then it's way easier than going in and making sure you check every time you have a door price slip day in your party. It'll just email you when somebody did it. And then you can go in and look at the responses. Is everybody doing that that does a door price slip or did you guys know about that? I didn't even know anything like this existed. Lori or Brandy, do you guys do that? I do. Okay. But I, yeah, you showed me that when we had that meeting that one day. So, mm -hmm. Lori, did you know that? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. So, you guys just had a little Google training right there. So, <laughs> that's really important. <laughs> I, I think it's really important because I didn't know that right away. And it was like, oh my gosh. All right. The best so, advice is just to open it up and play with it. And if somebody wants a guinea pig, you can always share it with me and I will fill it out so you can play with how you get the responses back. Yeah. So Hold you, on just a second. I just got to figure out where my cord thingy. Can I, can I talk to Jenny real quick while you're doing that, Kelly? Yeah, go She's ahead. She's gone. So when you're, you go in and you create in Google Docs this slip, no, you're Google gonna probably form. create a Google form. So okay. when you open your drive, you'll pl okay. click click on the big plus button where okay. the new is, and when you scroll down, it says like Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Form. Just find scroll down until you get to the form. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm back, guys. It wasn't plugged in. I will, I will check into that. Thank you. Yep, Connie, I'll see if I can try to find you a video to watch, okay? Okay. There All might right. be one in those tech tips. Too. There might be one of those tech tips that I posted a couple weeks ago, so I'll look for you and I'll let you know. All right, thank you. Okay, so we also talked a little bit about using, oh, here, downloading the PC catalog app. Did everybody do that? We, this was something that we talked about like several months ago and it, we, I know we did it on a team meeting and we, I think we got everybody logged in on it. It Maybe is the it best was, thing yeah. ever. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I do love it too. Anyone oh, do not have this on, on my phone? phone. Yes, on your phone. Okay, so if anybody has any questions on that, just let me know. But it's really, it's great information right at your fingertips. It really is. It even tells you to update it. Yep, Kathy, um, how about you? Do you have that? I don't think Kathy's on anymore. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, okay, all right, time-saving tips for using notes and text replacement. So text replacement can be a huge thing too. Are you guys know, you guys know about that? I can't figure it out, but that's okay. I can show you that sometimes, sometime, Jen, too. Okay. Because um, you basically have to go into your keyboards on your phone. And oh, hold then, on. Um, like, here, let me see if I can. I can play. Now that I know it's my keyboard, I will play till I find it. That's fine. Yeah. So, um, like, one of the things is I have in my keyboard, I, I haven't done this now for a while because I haven't had, I mean, whenever I, when I was doing cooking shows, I would do events, not groups, obviously. And so right. I didn't want to do write, write out my same thing every single time. So in my text replacement, hello, if I can find it, under my keyboard,
So if, if I have, I don't know if you guys can see it here. Uh, let's see. It won't. No, I can't do it. But I have under my apps, FBE. Can you see it there? FBE. Jen? No, but that's okay. Oh, I think it's because you're screen sharing, so it makes oh, sorry. your... Oh, sorry, Doc. I thought you could <laughs> see me on my thing. But it says, like, I have, like, if I start typing in F-B-E into anything, oh. it will come up as, um, join us for good food with good friends and learn a tip or two along the way. I don't have to type that. I just type in F-B-E and it stands for Facebook event. Bloop, oh. And then all I have to do is plug in the person. It's kind of like copying and pasting. You know what I mean? Right. But I did find a thing for text shortcuts. Yeah. So, yep, there's, it should say, you, you have an Android? I do. Yep. So yours is probably called shortcuts and on, a, on an iPhone oh. text replacement. This is awesome. Yeah. So that one is really cool. And a lot of people have tons of stuff or they have things typed into their notes on their phone and then they can just cut and paste from their notes and they have their notes labeled. Um, like I have my, um, like the, um, be a consultant web link. I have that into a notes on my phone. So whenever somebody asks me about the business opportunity, I'll say, go ahead, you know, make, start making a list of questions. We're going to set up a date to talk. And in the meantime, you can check this out. And I always give them the be a consultant link. So I always have that handy in my phone so I can cut and paste it really quickly. Okay. So there's mm -hmm. lots of cool things that you can do like that. Does anybody else have anything that they use that's really helpful for them like that? Any shortcut that way? No? All right. I'll just, if there is something you think of, let me know and I can always share it with the team. Okay. All right. So see, this is how like some people here, this, this person gets really, you know, this question may be totally out of left field. Like she's got opportunity one, opportunity two, booking one. So she's got them all labeled out in her text replacement stuff. So if she types under text replacement OPP1, that's going to come up in her text message. Wow. If she's going to, if she has OPP2C, all that stuff comes up. Like I said, I had FBE and that's what it would come with my event. Or some people will just have it in notes on their phone this way or in a Google Doc, you know, and then they cut and paste from it. So some like stuff like this, this is the time saving stuff that you need when you're starting to do like four parties in one week, Lori rates. This is the kind of stuff like you need these like steps, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, yeah, so it can be super helpful, you know, sending out coach coaching messages, all that stuff can be done like this. And that's like my host coaching, it's all I like, cut and paste it. That's what I do every single day. Cut and paste in the morning at 7.30 in the morning. I'm cutting and pasting my host coaching. My alarm. I have a mine in a Google Doc that I copy and paste. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, that's more or less what I do, Lori. But too, but now like the more I see this stuff, I'm like, geez, maybe I should, maybe I should just put it in text replacement. Maybe that well, would even be, I don't know. You got to be careful though, because I tried it. And if you use something that like, and I can't remember what, how I did it. But I kept, it kept being the same as a word I would put in there. And so uh -huh. it kept filling in on that. So you got to make sure it's something unique that you're not going to use for something else. Yeah, because, because I used to have years ago, when I first learned about text replacement, I had my personal website and I had it as PC. So every stinking time I would type PC right. in, it would, my website would show up and I had to take it off because I wasn't. Yeah, that's what I that's why it. I like the Google Docs now. Mm -hmm. But I agree, Lori. So maybe I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. So what is your goal? So ingredients for success. Do you have a plan right now? I'm reminding of you this all the time. Do you have a plan? Do you have a goal? Whether it's for today or for the week or for the month, you know, what is your goal? And the other thing is, is have you shared it with me? This is another reason why I really highly encourage you guys to set up coaching calls with me. Let's talk, you know, whether it's every week or every couple weeks, let's talk. We can keep that stuff in front of you and make a plan. 
you know, for your success. And I really think that for those of you guys that have done host coaching calls with me, I think, I think you guys would think it was helpful. So, and like Lori didn't even have one with me this week and we still talked anyway, didn't we? Lori? <laughs> so I like, I like chatting on the phone too with you guys. So it's, it's good. So, all right. So always keep your goal in mind. Hold on here. I'm going to flip to my next page here. So this one, this little slide here, I just think it's kind of just like a, it's a kind of a cool progression of what has happened with some consultants over the years. So like the one down in the bottom right-hand corner, I think is pretty cool. Her first paycheck in 2005 was $800. In April of 2016, it was $2,078. 2017, 4245 2018, 4,327. 2019, 6,587. In this year in April, 14,123. That is crazy to see she went from $800 to getting $14,000 in a month. That is awesome. So you're, you're seeing this across the board. So these are real stats from different consultants. Um, and I think it's really just really super fun to, to look at that stuff. So it's, you know, Judy Joel will always tell you guys, why not you, why not now? You know, and if you can do, be, or have anything you want, you know, this business can be anything you want it to be. So I love, I love seeing all this. And then, like Jen reminded us, see right there, it says, booked guest, booked guest, rock star guest note. <laughs> it says it right in the every four add one more tracker. So make sure that you're using your tracker in your business Bible. You guys should have one of those. All right. So the eye care connections, we did the thank you one already. Um, this one has adding recipes from your personal blog. So like we were talking about earlier, you can cut and paste it um, from your website link. And even to sharing blogs with them, people don't even know we have a blog. So I think that's kind of cool. And here is so you can send eye care connections once your order is submitted this is what it's going to look like from your um it's going to look like on your website sorry these pictures aren't as clear um some of the slides were were missing in the actual one that i was given so i had to kind of cut and paste some um so this is kind of what it looks like when it gets sent to you to your guests um how to track orders um things are a little weird with that right now because of back orders and stuff but typically if you need to track an order you're going to go to your reports and tracking you're going to click on shipping info and then track shipment um we also have that little truck on the my parties and orders page if you've got something that's been sitting for a while that's a good place to start with and then we might have to go to this tracking um um, shipments page later if there's back orders related in that but this is all kind of wonky right now hopefully back by you know like around the end of October we'll kind of be back on a more of a regular shipping schedule and it won't be so confusing anymore I can yeah. say that today that I looked at something for my sister's party that <laughs> was submitted the end of July so they just received it Saturday okay and it was something that my mom had ordered. So I was talking to her and she's like, well, I'm a, I added stuff to the order cause the stuff was wonky anyways. But so I was talking to her about things and she's like, well, I'm missing this part. So the screen, so I used the truck and it was at my mom's order was actually accurate for what was shipped and what wasn't, which was very exciting for me because lately that hasn't been accurate. Mm -mm. So that was accurate today. And that was for an order that was just shipped on Thursday. Lori, we might have to look again at that one order. Did you happen to look today? No. <laughs> She's like, no. We had, we had kind of a messy one we were trying to figure out yesterday. Um, so that's good to know, Jen, because maybe there was just some stuff that hadn't been updated over the weekend. Yeah. Oh, maybe. but that does bring me to 
the grill scraper is the item that's missing, but it's not on the back order list. I'm confused. Or am I just off my rocker? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's named different than what I thought. Maybe I didn't go down to the W's because it's maybe it's wooden. wooden. Grill scraper. That might be the problem. All right, let me go back and look. Okay. I didn't go that far. <laughs> okay. Um, so there is a spot that you can send a letter that says your order has been shipped to, which I thought they got an email on that anyway, so I thought this was a weird slide. So um, let's see here. Okay, so here's your call to action. I'm sorry that I kept you a little bit over today. A um, little bit more to cover. So call to action on this week. Continue to consistently reach out to five to 10 contacts each day. The number of contacts depends on how many shows you still need to fill your calendar. So make sure that's another goal you have is knowing how many parties you wanna have per month or per week. Fill out your every four, add one more document and add your parties. You could screenshot that and send it to me to keep me to keep me informed and to keep you on your toes. Post a thank you for your order messages in your party and send your guest a recipe from your website. Send out five Rockstar recruiting messages per show and send out at least six Rockstar booking messages per show. I think that is a great goal. So does anybody, I'll post this in the thing, um, but does anybody have any questions? Then, would you send the um, rock star post and the rock star recruiting post to the same people? Why not? Well, if they don't answer you, you know, oh. sometimes they don't get a response back. So would you? True. I think it would then depend you on what they were talking about in the party. What's that? I think I would depend on what they were talking about in the party. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, if they were just talking about a lot other. of products and stuff or, you know, I think it would just be depend on kind of the conversations you had in your party, like who, you know, you can kind of pick it out that way. Because, right. you know, say, if you're no, well, just booking a party, they could well, end up. I remember that one thing talking about step down. So start with the recruiting and then go to the party and mm -hmm. then. Okay. Yep. I have a girl right now who I have to actually, I'll see her tomorrow. So her and I are going to chat, but I first got her on the idea of booking a party and then she was talking about signing up, but she won't host if she's going to sign up. So we kind of have that in limbo right now. So, so what's holding her back then, Jen, from signing up? Is this the one we were talking about? Yeah, that's my conversation tomorrow. I'm going to ask her why not now? Okay. Like, what is her biggest fear? What's holding her back? Yep. Yep. So. Why can't you just make the decision? I have a feeling part of it might be support from her hubby. Okay. So Chris Omnis just got a recruit. That's who it was. I'm like, Ooh. I was going to say, I didn't think the girl with my recruit would just sign up without talking to me first. So, um, so cool. All right, so anybody else have a question? I'll post that, I'll post the screenshots of some of this stuff from the party. Week three, there really wasn't any, um, I'm, I might try to still go back in and put in some stuff, but they really, it was more just like the positive affirmations and stuff, which everybody's positive affirmations are different. So I just didn't really put anything in there, but I might just put some stuff in there about like the start today journal and stuff because I know that works works really well for me. To I have, have to get that. back to that. Mm -hmm. So, anybody else have anything else? Connie, did your girl get through? Did she say? She never got through, and okay. um, I told her to um, contact them first thing in the morning, and then I told her that I would also try to contact them via texting. She goes, "Well, I sent them an email." Well. We all know it's going to happen with the emails. It's going to take them three or four days before they even respond to an email. Mm -hmm. Or so less. I'm just going to try to text for, you know, do a texting message with them. I usually get uh, a quicker response that way or, or a call chat. back mm -hmm. and see if I can help get this moved along for her. So, so she never, she did not get an email though saying she, 
No. So I don't think it went through then. It didn't go through, but she goes, it shows on her credit card statements, the two cards that she used that they're pending charges. Hmm. Which, that's weird. That is weird. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I'm just going to try to step in and see if I can help her out. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just keep me posted. I have to sub tomorrow, yeah. but I'll be home after, um, three o'clock central time. So if you need some help, let me know. But Sarah's home right now too. Oh, okay. Okay. So she's home. I think she's got to stay home at least another, I think it's another week. So why did they have her COVID? stepson tested positive for COVID? So then, oh, and then, then her, I didn't realize that. Her, okay. um, then Brian did. And so oh. then, so it was like, then it went from Brian being that from the day that Brian got tested positive, then she had to go another two weeks. Oh especially God. because she works in a dental office. So, I mean, she's going to end up being out of work like three weeks because of it. Did yeah, she so. send him to the garage? She's sleeping <laughs> in an air mattress in the living room. Yeah, but they're still sharing air. <laughs> yeah, but like, um, like when you get sent home from school, what the parameters are from the county or from the health department and the CDC is they won't inform you like at school unless you've been six feet probably less six than six feet, feet within six feet for more than 15 minutes of somebody right. so that's why like kids sitting in the class together that was like then it would be like these five four four kids that sat around that kid then those ha kids had to be quarantined you know and so that's i mean so they're not in this i mean yeah they're sharing the same air but then they're wearing i think they're wearing masks at home Gotcha. I just yeah. know one of Mark's coworkers tested positive and then his wife got it. So they went to, it was nice. It was this summer. So they lived in the garage and the two boys got the house. Mm -hmm. However, okay. then the boys actually ended up going back to UW Platteville early because the one was renting a house anyways mm -hmm. to try and make sure the two boys stayed healthy. But yeah, they went to the garage. Yeah. <laughs> I told no, Mark I that he gets the garage. camper. Yeah, three of three or four of Graydon's friends have already been sent home from college. Yeah. Like lacrosse and Eau Claire, they already got sent home. Oh, and Madison's a hot mess. Well, in Madison, you just you're you're confined to your dorm right now. You can't. Right. Well, dorm. one McCarter, his girlfriend tested positive. Mm -hmm. So now he's freaking out because he can't come to play hockey till he knows for sure he's tested negative, and now they'll.